I promise I haven't gone mad. I've just decided to jump on TikTok now. So, um, yeah, I tried to do like the euphoria, feel like a person again, TikTok, where you put the diamantes on your eyes. Um, and I was also attempting a Ariana hairstyle, but I don't think I've quite nailed it yet. So do excuse that. I was just trialing it building in the background what can you do what can you do um yeah i just thought i would log this in a vlog soon that i am on tiktok so if you want to check out my tiktok for pure entertainment purposes only then um yeah it's just the same as all my other social media handles lillian eve with an extra e i think on the end um, and these diamantes, I just got, like, they're not actually glued on. I haven't even got, like, an eye or face makeup glue to put them on. I just randomly put them on like that. Um, but they're quite cool. I might have used them at one point in a music video in the future or something, you know. It looks, looks really cool. Um, especially under, um, like, a ring light it will really glisten so yeah um yeah and these were just ones i had in my drawer because i i'd got some for last halloween in case i wanted to bedazzle myself at halloween but i didn't use them um so i just luckily had a few random i didn't have the glue but they just are kind of hanging on for dear life on their own um yeah other than that i've just had a chill day today and um i'll just insert this clip into a vlog with other things whatever i get up to good morning guys it's the next day um i just washed my hair last night and plaited it again here we have it just what the curls look like really easy i highly recommend um just the only thing is i didn't part it straight so got to try and tackle that um but yeah my brother's coming over t today so that will be nice i'll be s spending some quality time with family outside in the garden i haven't seen him since i went to hospital and um that will be nice um and uh, yeah other than that not much planned <clears throat> just relaxing and um, I'll vlog anything that's interesting the rest of the week um, what else? any updates I can update you? I've just been browsing online there's a lot of good stuff I'm really I, I'm loving Instagram brands like I keep getting loads of different ads of different Instagram brands and they seem really trendy and exciting to wear so I'm gonna definitely purchase some things from a few I've been having my eye out on um, and um, yeah I do want to get back into my knitting at some point I just don't want to put too much pressure on my body for now um, I'm still recovering like slowly so just taking it quite easy um that's why i've been doing things that are easier doing photos and stuff um and uh yeah i might paint my nails today i wanted to do some sort of cool nail art or something maybe to use a few different colors i'm not sure just see how it goes. I've also got two, um, so this set I did tie-dye myself. I did it in a tie-dye video that I put on YouTube. Um, yeah, I tie-dyed this myself with the joggers. Um, and I just got this white set off eBay, like really random, um, for like a really good price. And, um, then I just tie dyed it myself, got all the dyes and everything and it was really good. So if you wanted to do that to fill your time in in 
not quarantine but like at home that's a really good thing to do I've still got two white oversized ones that I want to do so I'll probably vlog that later this week of me doing that in my bathtub bath, bathtub maybe because um you know I'm aware like some people might not have a garden to do it outside so um you can always do it in your bathroom which I thought is a good idea um because I don't yeah it won't it won't cause too much of a mess anyways I'll try I'll trial it for you I've got like um the what are they called you know those um what are they called like uh you put them in your sink like your mums and dads you know they it's like a washing up bucket you put in your sink I got some of those so I could like dye them in those in the bathtub and then also if you have any spray bottles like I've got this one it's not empty but I've got a few like this that are empty cleaning bottles then you can have those empty put some of your dye in there mix up with the water and then you can actually be very precise where you tie dye spritz on your clothes that you're trying to tie dye so yeah I thought that was a good idea that I maybe show you a more developed one of me doing that so I thought I would just show you this is my bedside table it's quite chaotic at the moment um <laughs> I really need to tidy it but these jugs I got off Amazon and they're f um they said they're like a pint size and I think they are so they're pretty good because um I found that me getting those I'm drinking a lot more water which is always a good thing so and I just fill one up before bed and throughout the day and then it's just nice to have fresh water out of a big cup um because sometimes I find that the Ikea cups I have aren't really big enough to um like that like I can drink I drink quite a fair amount of water to be honest so um yeah I just wanted like some bigger cups so I got these like mason jar type ones that I'll link in the description and yeah so also um this um dried pampas grass um i got is from a brand in if you're local to brighton it's a brand in shoreham um called the little deer i think um they were selling pampas grass but i i got it through the website truva truva so let me just show you this is the website truva um, and they do lots of lovely homeware things, homeware, kids, lifestyle, and basically it's a, I think, it, I don't know if it's curated, but it's a website where they've put together loads of different brands, um, and you can see the best sellers, and, um, it tells you where they're located, so, you know, this is telling you that it's in the UK, um, so it's good, you know, if you don't want everything from a certain place, or you don't, you want to know where you're sourcing your goods, so, this is the brand I got it from, from Little Deer, English brand, so you know you're getting it quite local to you, if you're getting it from multiple brands, say if you get it from two different UK brands, you don't have to pay separate extra delivery fees per different ones, they put it together and do a set price on the delivery fee, so if you were getting it from multiple different UK brands, then um, it would just be a set couple pounds for the delivery cost um, but obviously if it's from Europe or America or something it's a bit different but yeah I just thought that was quite a good way to browse loads of different brands at once especially homeware decorative things they have the um, really nice candles on there um, that I'll insert here um, like the really trendy ones um, so yeah, I just thought that was quite helpful if any of you are into homeware and you would like that kind of thing 
also let me know what kind of videos you want more of what did you want to see in my vlogs like did you want more homeware things in my vlogs because i can do that or did you want like mini clothing hauls once in a while in my vlogs if i buy any new things um just let me know okay lottie are you ready for a shower it's time to give you a wash because you're a bit smelly all right okay good girl lots she's a good girl eh? there we are okay and then we just put a nice bit of shampoo on you good girly are you doing okay there gorgeous just wash you off. Nearly there. Good girl, lots. You're all clean now. How do you feel? <laughs> She'll enjoy it after when she's done. Here we are. All clean. Hey guys, um, I just thought I would update you. My brother has been and gone. We had a lovely lunch with him outside in the garden. Um, Dexter's back from work. I just wanted to add another clip just to say um, I'm, I really am aware how difficult this year has been for everyone and I feel really like this it's a strange year because it's been a blessing for so much stuff like you know people can really evaluate their lives see what they want in life do they want that fast-paced life that they had do they want that job that they had some people even do they want that relationship that they had or have like it makes people really reflect on everything oh damn it the battery is flashing but you know it really makes you reflect and just i hope everyone can try your best to um seek positivity out of your scenario i know it's easier said than done um i've done that personally found that easier to deal with the situation i dealt with being in hospital and you know um so it's a very tough year and I'm very aware of that and I just want to bring you guys some joy so definitely leave any comments or on my Instagram DM me feel free I'm so open to everything like I want to give some joy to the world okay so I want to bring any content that is funny you know i just text polly and um hopefully in a few weeks or sooner when she's free we'll do some videos together she'll come around in my garden we'll social distance and film a video um or two or three you know we i just want to um bring some joy and yeah um it's my birthday in october so i'm thinking about what i'm doing for that it's crazy time because there's no chance i'm going away or anything i've got to just be safer rather than sorry as i'm sure most of you are um but yeah it's a slow year we're all at home or doing the bare minimum but just anything you enjoy do that okay just find anything in your day to cheer you up bake something have a self-care day have a lazy day be productive try something new try learn something new or just don't like whatever makes you happy that's what you've got to do and just understand that um this is a challenging time for everyone and we're being tested i don't know we're we're being challenged and um we've got to be kind to everyone this year has really just put everything into perspective like we just have to be so sensitive and kind to people really just understand that we're all here to you know I don't want to cry but um we're all here to just live our lives and life is so precious and we need to be here for one another and just you know enjoy everything as much as we can so whatever you do, I want you today 
while you're watching this you do something for you because if you're doing something for you that can make you happy then everyone around you whoever you're living with they're gonna have that happiness as well you know I came out of hospital and Dexter thought I was gonna really struggle to get back on my feet and mentally get in a better state because when I came back I literally felt like PTSD like post-traumatic stress I felt like I'd just been um just left prison or been in the war and come back home I felt so like spaced out and freaked out that I was finally back at my house but everything looked different my house looked so cluttered compared to the hospital so it took me a while to like settle in like when I first came in I was crying my eyes out shaking sorry the battery just went yeah I was crying my eyes out shaking and like so on edge so much anxiety just to be back home after being in such a clinical environment in a hospital for five nights so I just want to say that my mind is really here for the people we're all here like this is a tough tough year for everyone um but yeah I just wanted to say that please 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 if there's anything I can put in these vlogs or anything to cheer you up any type of content I will try my best to do it so please message me on Instagram on YouTube comments like anything okay um, because life is too short and I want to bring some joy to the world um, and whatever you know anything um so yeah i hope you guys have a great evening and i will carry on this vlog throughout the time um it's wednesday Th dexter finishes work on a thursday so friday or saturday we might pop to his um mum's in the his parents in the garden visit his mum check on her um, and then we go maybe go for a nice drive and then I'll film that just you know we might go to a field I might just do a photo shoot in a field since everyone's doing that everyone's embracing the English countryside you see it all over Instagram I might join the trend and do some photos in a field <laughs> I mean it's social distancing so it's something I can do so yeah, um, we might go enjoy the sunset on the weekend. Um, I baked a carrot cake today. I'm sorry I didn't film it, but I will do a baking video very soon. Maybe next week or on the weekend. <laughs> bed sheets um it's just like the white egyptian cotton um i think where did my mum get it i forget um but you can get them in various places so i'll link them this um i love this cotton uh bed throw i got i got it from home sense a few years ago it's made in Italy, it's really lovely quality and I love that it's baby pink and white checker. Um, and this pillow has been an absolute godsend. I know it's kind of like those pregnancy pillows but I just really wanted one because I feel like it looks really nice to cover your whole bed. Like as one long, like it, I think um, if you've seen Kendall Jenner's Architectural Digest 
showing around her house she has one on her bed and they just look really nice and they're really comfortable you can really cuddle with them in bed so I thought that's great um, and I just got a few different covers for it and I got that off Amazon so I'll link it in the description below and yeah that's just my bed made I finally took the um, duvet cover off because I um, because I just thought you know I was mainly having it up because I still haven't got my curtains up I have got my curtains and hopefully next week we can get them up um, but uh, yeah I just I was using it as a shield in the summer so not as much heat came in my room because I'm in the top floor so it's quite hot in here we're in the summer um, and yeah but um, this is just my the only thing about when we get curtains I won't be looking forward to because I've got floor length ones so they'll be going right behind but I just love how I've got like this little windowsill I have a lovely neon sign that my um, brother got me for my birthday last year um, and then my crystals I got from the Melrose Trading Post in LA and just lovely candles and things so yeah um but that's that's what i've done so far today i shower and wash my hair i'm probably going to blow dry it straight for now because i've been doing a lot of plaiting and now i thought i'll try and do it straight um and then yeah and then it's kind of the weekend and it's also a bank holiday monday so dex is not working on monday which is even more amazing is so now i've done my hair all nice and straight i'm just kind of looking through um these basically i got these depot bags uh not depot bags i got these bags from ikea and um they're just like really big storage bags that you can put under your bed and then i've got one dedicated to my depot um, so I can just keep a log of everything that's on my Depop is in that bag. So it's just packed nicely, not dust, no dust is going to collect in it whilst I wait if anyone wants to buy anything. So that's what I've done there. Um, if you see here, it's just a bit messy at the moment. I'm just going through, I'm just seeing trialing a few things i've also got these ikea bags they've got these new satchel type ones um they can go on like a trolley thing where you drag it it's a bit like an old lady type of trolley thing but um i didn't get the trolley thing i just got the bags because they're quite good satchel ikea bags that i'll put like my winter clothes in or summer clothes depending on the season so right now we've got a few winter coats in there and stuff um but yeah it's just a way of keeping it quite because I struggle to um you know I've got two rails and then behind there I've got a set of drawers like for tops and stuff and then in the hallway I've also got drawers for more tops and things but it's just difficult like you know when you're when you're a girl it's hard to like keep control of how much clothes you have and like I just don't like getting rid of clothes because sometimes I don't want something or I won't wear it but then sometimes I'll think oh my god where's that thing I need to have that for my outfit so it's really difficult um to keep control of maximizing the space and storage and you know of all your clothes um first world problems but you know it is a problem um you know out of sight out of mind so the more you can kind of keep under control or organize then it's less clutter in your room i've been so known to have so much clutter in my room if you ask any of my friends boyfriend or mum especially my mum she, she loves everything to be clean so she doesn't really like coming in my room but i'm trying to get better at it now um so yeah they're just some handy tips that if you haven't tried 
maybe get some of these ikea bags from ikea i'll link them in this, the description i find them really helpful and they're quite cool actually um oh, i keep saying they're quite cool i keep saying cool why am i saying cool they're quite good because they're zip up ones you know normally they'd used to only do those big open bags now they're doing zip up ones also i got some yellow joggers recently from ASOS from New Look and then I remembered I had this yellow Brandy Melville top and then I've paired the two then I've got a collusion shirt on top um, and I'm quite liking it it actually is giving me IKEA vibes as well because it's blue and yellow but you know they worked well together they're on the colour wheel the opposites so yeah and um, yeah Today it's raining, we're on our way to see Dexter's mum, check she's all good um, and just get out of the house a bit so yeah it's raining and um, we just thought we'd go today, it's a Friday, we thought we'd go today and then we'll do a nice hopefully fingers crossed sunset drive photo shoot on Sunday because it's bank holiday Monday on Monday so yeah that's the update um I painted my nails I was trying to do that more oh it's not gonna focus is it yeah I was trying to do that more abstract colorful nail art by myself without even like a specific um tool to do it I was just using the brush the brushes from the the nail polish varnish pot so um i tried my best first attempt not too bad could be better but we'll work on it and yeah that's the update <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys, um, welcome back, oh, not welcome back, I just thought this video is getting a bit of a long vlog, um, I don't know if you like that or if you prefer them kind of shorter, so leave me a comment down below what kind of timing of vlogs do you prefer? I think I'll end this video this vlog here um but i hope you enjoyed and i hope you um you know that's lottie in the garden dex is just throwing the ball for her she what she does is she barks every single time once she's returned the ball she barks so yeah you can hear her um but yeah i think i'll leave this vlog here and get back to you in the next vlog I'll start a new vlog next week. So it's Saturday today, um, I'm just going to have a relaxing day and maybe do a bit of baking, um, maybe I'll film it, we'll see. Uh, but I will be doing a baking video soon, so showing you how to bake in a very anti-inflammatory way helping everything in your body your mind body and soul um yeah i hope you're having a great day have a lovely weekend and i will see you in the next video thanks guys <laughs>